No, people be so worried about length. They want lean so bad that their hair is uneven and looks a mess. I told my little baby we might have a purpose. I told her my nigga we just got a hustle. We just been that hustle, you gotta stay home. You got shit up my own, you know you can't find me. My nigga smile like they came out of the jungle. Yeah, you gon' smoke with the way you with me. You niggas ain't real, you niggas gon' come. I'ma get dark on the side like I'm summer. I'm on this dress, so I'm serving the lane. You niggas really ain't feeling my pain. I told my little nigga just stay in your lane. Just stay in money, don't stop for the fame. Don't stop for the fame. Don't stop for the fame. What up, Roy Gang? It's Emma the Princess, and I'm back with another video. Y'all know what it is. So, today I'm coming at y'all my 10 month lock update. So, I'm literally two months away from a full year with my locks. And, like I said, locking my hair was one of the best decisions I ever made. So, if you're contemplating and been thinking about getting locks, you should go ahead and get them because you will not regret it. I promise you will not regret it. So before we get started, make sure y'all like and subscribe and join the gang. If you're not subscribed and you've been watching my videos or if this is your first time watching one of my videos, just subscribe and join the gang and become royalty. So, yes, like I said, well, my lock update isn't until the 12th. And today is the, what's today? Is today the 10th? Yes, today is the 10th. So I'm two days early on the lock update, which is fine, you know, which is another, well, which is a day from Valentine's Day. So yeah, 10 months locked, and this is what my locks are looking like. Open it's four percent. And this time, I know I usually do my lock updates when I get up my hair freshly done but in that last video if you haven't seen my last lock update go check it out because in that video I had twists and that those twists were actually really good because I kept them in for about three weeks or so and then I took them out and um you know I love my hair crinkly and um yeah and it does like lengthen, stretches the time of me getting my hair done out a little bit because um, with it being in the twist, it doesn't unravel from the roots and do crazy stuff. So, well, this month, this new month update is what one thing I've noticed was my locks are maturing still. Like I said in the last video, they're starting to look like locks now. Even some of my friends, when they see me, they be like, Oh my god, your hair is starting to look like, they're actually starting to look like dreads now, which is correct. They are. And to be honest with those twists, I think they did kind of help them mature just a tad bit. So at first I said I wasn't going to do the twist that often because it took a long time to do and it took a long time to take out. But then once I took them out, at first I didn't really like the crinkly look, but then it grew on me and I did like it. So, and then, like I said, I noticed how my hair, it kind of, like those bulky ends that I was telling y'all about, they did help them thin out just a tad bit. So, if I keep getting the twists, you know, over and over, you know, eventually my locks will thin completely out like they're supposed to be. So, um, yeah, I don't, I know last video I said I was at a juvenile stage still. But I'm not really sure if I'm still currently at the juvenile stage. Because with those twists, like I said, it helped maintain my locks very, very well. So, when I get my next retwist, I will do the twist again. And, yes, I really do like them. So, if you're, I'm pretty sure your stylist should know how to do those twists when she retwists them. So, if your hair is long enough to do it. I think you should um, try them out if you haven't. At first I thought it was just a little cute hairstyle, but it's actually a protective style. 
and you get two hairstyles and one you get the twist then you can style the twist while they're in then you can take the twist out and rock it crinkly and still style those twists which lengthens the time in between you getting your locks done so you know i go once a month but with those twists i can go once once every month and a half which is stretched out like two to three weeks because um last time i, I told y'all that i had went a while without getting my hair retwisted that's because my roots was looking a mess but my roots aren't looking a mess because they came out of those twists so it's not getting tangled and matted up like that time before so um another thing that i've noticed this go round is my hair is starting to grow because I was looking, I'm gonna insert some pictures so that y'all can see. My hair is actually on my neck now. I mean, it's on my shoulders. My hair reaches my shoulders. Let me turn to the back. It is on my shoulders. Because I know like a couple months ago, it was like right here. It wasn't quite on my shoulders yet. But now it is actually on my shoulders. So I think my hair is done. Well, no. One thing, too, that I was going to say is my hair still feels like it has a long way to go when it comes to locking because some of my ends are still kind of springy, like coils. I don't know. I think it's my hair texture, and that's the reason why some of them are still springy. But it's mainly, like, in the top. But in the back, most of my ends are bulbed at the end. They're knotted at the ends, and they look like locks at the end. But like this one right here, if y'all can see, see it's still springy like that. And that's still basically a coil. But up here, there's knotting and it's locked all the way up here. But at the end, it's springy. So I'm not sure if, if it's my hair texture or if it's just taking a long time to lock. But I do have a lot of stringy ends you know coily ends like that that's still bouncy and springy and whenever your locks are still springy like that that's not locked at all so um yeah i do have parts like that so but i do want to say my hair is almost done locking because like i said i'm starting to see a lot of growth now and once your hair is done locking from the well, i would say my hair most of my hair is done locking from the inside because once it starts locking from the inside first and as it's locking from the inside it shrinks up and then it starts locking from the outside and once it's you know done or almost done locking that's when you start to see a lot of growth so like i would say in another year my hair will be another half of this length so it'll be about i think my hair in a year another year my hair will be like right here so um yeah so i do want to say my hair is almost completely done locking but i do have springy ends here's another springy end that i have right here and it's just a tiny bit so it doesn't bother me because my hair is still starting to look like locks and people can tell that i have locks like when people see me now, then I'll say, oh, you're trying to start locks? When it was like, obviously, I'm not trying. I am starting locks, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, people do know that I have locks. But like I said, at the top, I do have more of those springy ends. And my ends, and I, and I do still have quite a bit of curly ends on some locks. And at first, I thought that all my locks was going to bulb at the end. You know, like most of my other locks are. But I've seen other people who have mature locks and their ends are still curly. Like I just showed y'all the curly and coily thing. Some people's ends are still curly at the end. So not all of the locks may um, bulb at the end. If your hair is really soft and curly, it may not. So don't be alarmed or freak out or anything if your hair is still curly at the end when you're like close to a year in like me. So, um... It's not, it doesn't bother me enough to like, well, I'm going to cut it, cut the ends just to, um, you know, get my ends to be bulbed at the end. <clears throat> but once my hair grows out and it gets to be one, like, long enough, I'm going to cut, because my hair is very uneven. I can show you guys a couple pictures. Well, I have one picture to show y'all that y'all can see that it's uneven. My hair has always been uneven because, I don't know, I, be, I used to cut my hair and do crazy stuff. So, yes, my hair is uneven, and you can tell it in the lock. But, um, yeah, my hair is very uneven, and it's been like that for 
Well, I've had my hair cut before and it evened out, but I don't know. My hair just always end up getting uneven again. So I'm once my hair grows out to a length that I can cut it and it'll still be, have a good length. I'm going to, you know, shape my hair up to be all one length if that makes sense because I do I have seen a lot of people who have locks that are uneven and they look so crazy the thing is people be so used to no people be so worried about length they want length so bad that their hair is uneven and it looks a mess so if your hair is uneven like really badly uneven when it grows out just trim it just please just trim it because it's gonna look way better and you're gonna look way put together i'm telling you and you know when you trim your hair it makes your hair grow faster and it makes your hair more healthy so don't be so worried about length because at the end of the day the length is gonna come because with locks most people with locks your hair goes really fast because you're not really doing much to your hair and when you don't do much to your hair it makes your hair grow really fast as long as you're taking care of it like you're supposed to so i say probably it'll still be in another year or so like whenever because my hair i have my hair pulled up because i just got a new piercing so i can't like wear it down right now but if I was to take it down, like my hair stops like right here at the top. It's like right in here. And then back here, it gets to be right here. And I have some pieces in the back that are just, you know, half of this length. So my hair is pretty uneven. So I also when my hair gets to be, when all my hair gets to be at least right here, I will cut it to even it out so that it'll look good. But if, you, if the unevenness doesn't bother you and you don't think your hair looks a hot mess, then you don't have to cut it but i prefer that you know you keep your hair trimmed just because you have locks you still need to keep your ends trimmed just because you have locks doesn't mean oh no i'm not gonna get my ends trimmed anymore and most people they don't even get their ends trimmed when they're loose natural so so just keep that in mind with locks you still should trim your ends and keep your ends trimmed when it starts to grow and get longer you don't necessarily have to do it while you're in the locking phase and your hair you know your hair is in the midst of growing out because you know you do kind of want that length when it's short but once it gets long there should be no reason for you not to you know want to trim your ends and stuff like that but on to the next subject so um but honestly that's about it though for this lock update y'all know these lock updates be pretty short i know y'all love watching my lock updates and i try to make them a little lengthy but honestly there's not once you're once you get to closer and closer to that year mark it's not gonna be much much change from then so once i get once i hit that 12 month year mark these lock updates will slow down but I'm still going to provide y'all lock videos. It may not be lock updates. But yeah, it'll still be videos pertaining to locks. Because I know y'all do like them. But just to let y'all know ahead of time that, you know, it's going to slow down. Because like I said, it's not much change happening after. Once your hair is completely locked, it's not going to be nothing too much more other than growth that's going to be happening. So, um, I have an idea that I want to do. Um, I want to try out. So within the next month or so, y'all will see that video and y'all will know if I did it or not. So, um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. I just still see my hair maturing and actual growth, like actual growth. So, um, that's all I have today for you guys today. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends so they can know all about the locks. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and join the game and tell a friend to come subscribe and join the game with you. So thanks guys for watching. Thank you so, so much for the support. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to get there. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But until then, I will see you next time. Tell my mama I'ma be on in a minute. Tell my granny I'ma buy home in a minute. Tell Tino we gon' be on in a minute, girl. You